What if I told you that your next doctor might not be in a hospital, <laughs> that they might be in your pocket itself and they reply in seconds and they don't even have bad handwriting. Back pain, jaw clicks, uh, heart risks, food poisoning. People are not googling symptoms about them anymore. They are chatting with ChatGPT and somehow, just somehow, it's actually working for them. Users are going to the extent of actually skipping appointments. They are fixing pain on their own. In some cases, saving their lives too. From fixing a jaw that clicked for five years to decoding the cause of chronic lower back pain after seeing eight physios to literally saving a Python developer's life by urging him to rush to a hospital. ChatGPT is no longer just answering trivia. It's being credited for changing lives. So let's talk about the super agency effect. Reid Hoffman calls it super agency, a new kind of superpower almost, where your symptoms, your scans, your strange health questions don't wait for an appointment. They meet an AI. And sometimes that's all it takes to turn that very pain into clarity. Let's give you an example. Ali K. Miller was feeling off from an electrolyte imbalance. She snapped a photo of a restaurant menu, uploaded it to ChatGPT and asked, what should I eat? Just minutes later, her headache was gone. So can ChatGPT really diagnose you? Stanford researchers found that ChatGPT scored 92% on diagnostics. That's higher than human doctors as well, who scored in the mid-70%. But there's obviously a catch. When doctors use ChatGPT, their accuracy didn't improve either. Why? Because tools are only as good as how we use them. What do the doctors say about this? Dr. C. N. Manjunath warns, AI is helpful, but physical exams matter. Always consult a doctor, a professional. Same goes for Dr. Sharon Basil as well. ChatGPT can hallucinate, it can get things wrong, and it lacks empathy. Point could be valid, but still, more stories keep coming in. Let's show you some examples from Reddit users. I followed its jaw advice. My click disappeared. Every prescription I get, I now double check with ChatGPT. If I had this tool earlier, maybe my parents would still be alive. My mind, that's saying a lot. But Bill Gates has joined the chat as well. Bill Gates calls it the start of the free intelligence era. In 10 years time, great medical advice and tutoring will be free and everywhere. Now that's powerful. And maybe, just maybe, a little terrifying as well. So currently, at this point of time, I think it's safe to say that ChatGPT will not replace your doctor. But it might just make you smarter before you walk in. It might help where access is, say, limited. It might guide you when you don't have time. But most importantly, it's changing the way we think about health. So yup, this is not just a chatbot anymore. This is the beginning of, say, AI-powered self-care. So the question is, would you trust a chatbot with your health entirely? Or better yet, have you already? Tell us your Dr. ChatGPT story in the comments below. If you have some wacky examples, share them as well. We want to discuss. For more such stories just like this from the entire world of tech and AI, subscribe to AIM TV. Think AI, think AIM.